So, you're trying to stay hydrated. You've been bringing with you a bag of sand to drink, and it's not working. You're looking for alternatives. I have some. I'm not a huge fan of just drinking plain water. I noticed it on my 21 day water fast. I just got more and more dehydrated and I started looking at other people fasting and it's like they always got these cracked lips. Freaking jungle freaks. And I'm like, water's not hydrating. It really isn't. You need minerals, electrolytes. So we'll get into all that. What's the best water you ask? Oh, I found it. Oh, I found it. And we'll talk about the alternatives, distilled, Reverse osmosis, spring water, or the Berkey. He's in the ocean. He's in the ocean. Before we get started, I do believe the Berkey system is the easiest to use, most effective, cost effective, like everything overall. We'll talk about each version of water. But that's the best. There's links down below if you want to support the channel. Get yourself a little deal down there. There's no extra deal. And I barely get a thing from it. But there's links down below for the Berkey. And I'll explain at the end why it's the best. When I first became a health nut, one of the first things I learned was tap water is fluoridated. Frickin' fluoride. I learned that from David Icke. Sure, he thinks reptiles run the world from the inner hollow core of our flat earth. Prove it wrong, science. So I was like, holy shit, they add fluoride to dumb us down, to keep us docile so we don't complain about their tax hikes and whatever else the government does. I don't know politics. So I started drinking bottled water and it was spring at first and then right next to each other, there's spring and then there's distilled. I'm like, what's better? And so I would try some. The distilled always made me so thirsty. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what the hell is this? But I would listen to these health freaks online saying distilled is the key, bro. What do you think rain is? That's God distilling it and crying. Distilled and then cries on you, drink it. Sometimes you gotta listen to your own ass body instead of these health gurus saying distilled is the key. I've watched many lectures and it's convincing. It sounds right. It's like there's nothing in there. It gets rid of inorganic minerals only. It doesn't strip the beneficial one. It goes right for the bad guys leaves all your good minerals intact. I freaking doubt it. All I know is I get more and more dehydrated the more distilled I drink, and when I add in the little concentrates, little mineral drops, desalinated ocean water, I felt a little more hydrated. Still thirsty as F. Let me break down hydration simply for you, and then we'll get into what's the best water source. It's less about the liquid and more about the minerals. Focus on the minerals, don't look at that liquid, you drink distilled water, you lose electrolytes, you become dehydrated. It's all about the electrolytes and not losing them rather than taking in all this extra water. You think you're dehydrated, don't add water. Make sure you're not losing electrolytes and add in electrolytes and some water and then you've found hydration. So the most hydrating things are fruits and vegetables raw in their state, natural state. Most fruits and vegetables have the perfect ratio of electrolytes and water perfect water like you can't do better than that you can't do better than a cantaloupe you can't drink water and feel the same hydration as a cantaloupe you're never going to feel it and sodium is so important that celery juice helps so much i don't like salt i do not add salt to my food i feel more dehydrated my digestion's worse with the salt but lots of celery juice lots of sodium from vegetables amen salt demon child rock don't lick it. If I could distill it down to its simplest form, I punned you. I punned you hard. I'm sorry. Put some aloe on that. If someone came to me dehydrated, I would say stop adding salt. Get rid of dehydrated food, which is like crackers, bread, all that shit, pasta. Oh, just because you boil it and it sucks up distilled water doesn't make it hydrating. You're a freak. I would say whenever you do drink water, add lemon to it so you at least get some minerals. I feel much more hydrated, just try it. A little lemon in water, half a lemon and like two cups of water, you drink that, it's like, okay. That quenches the thirst. The water just on its own doesn't do much. It doesn't stick in your body. You're just peeing it out and then you lose more electrolytes. So you can't just wake up and drink distilled water and get that celery juice in you, not only for hydration, just for everything, improving your digestion, building stomach acid, killing viruses. It's just like a super miracle food drink. 
Then you eat tons of raw fruits and vegetables throughout the day. You're getting all the water plus electrolytes. Just pure hydration town. But you do need some water. I wake up every day and I have three cups of water with the lemon. So it's important, the quality. I have researched water a ton and I'm shocked that I had never come across that Berkey filter until like last year. How did that skip my radar? It was always distilled versus reverse osmosis or spring water. And those were the three. So here's the pros and cons of each distilled RO and spring. There is that Kanjin water. Just don't be a freak. Don't alkalize your water. We need stomach acid for everything. It's like, oh, I'll just cool that fire. Don't need to digest anything I eat. I'm not a huge fan of $4,000 machines that destroy my body from the inside. So don't do it. So distilled water is the purest. It's the most effective purification method. It just, it removes everything. There's almost nothing that escapes because you boil it, the steam rises to the top and then you collect the steam. It's just vapor. That's all that can vaporize. Metals don't vaporize. Fluoride can't vaporize. So it removes everything you wouldn't want as well as everything you do want. That's the con. So it's the purest, but the least hydrating and most aggressive water it just strips your body of everything. Toxins and beneficial mi nu nutrients, minerals, fuck my life. Another downside to distilled water, if you pay your own electricity, that adds up. And it takes a while, it takes like three and a half hours to make a gallon of water. How much electricity is that? It could be thousands of dollars a day. I think it is. I used to recommend distilled water because I wasn't paying hydro at my last apartment, so electricity didn't matter. It was free to use. Lights were on all the time. It's like, yeah, it's a party here. Come on over if you need to blend something. And so it didn't matter to me, but it, three hours and it's very loud. You need a fan to cool the shit inside. At least my distiller, I had a nice professional one. Loud three hours for you. Every day you gotta put up with that shit and costing you money. And for my raw vegan hippie followers, distilled water is dead. It's cooked. They cooked it. The life force, your water god, dead. Water gods aren't being drunken into your body. How's he gonna help you then? You kill them. Some follower you are. So reverse osmosis improves on some things that the distiller is bad at. It still removes mostly everything. It can remove fluoride. It's almost as good as distilled. They're right there, close, but it keeps the water living. Your living tap water doesn't cook it, so that, for your hippie, deity worshiping mo fakes. And it doesn't use electricity, so you're not paying for extra costs. Once you buy the filters, you do have to replace the filters every year. You'd have to work out what's the more financially competent water source. I don't know, like distiller needs replacing the charcoal. That's very cheap though reverse osmosis eventually you buy this huge unit 500 bucks and then a couple years down the road you got to replace another 200 or 300 whatever for new filters it's a pain in the dick but they're cumbersome units you got to put this huge tank under your sink you got all these like freaking triple usually they're like a five system tripler filter system so you got a tank and five bottles and then it comes out of your tap slowly you got patience because you'll need it. I was looking into an RO system before getting the Berkey and it just seemed like too much work and too much installing and the big tank under the sink. It's like, give me a break, F you. But once it's set up, say you pay a professional to do it, that might be the easiest way to go with reverse osmosis. It just comes out of your tap then and you can decide whether you want filthy tap fluoride water or the pure stuff. But the water itself lacks the minerals, so it's empty water. You need to add back in at least some lemon, probably some concentrate mineral drops from the ocean of life. Then you might stand a chance at fighting off an infectious alligator if he came up to you. Then there's natural spring water that you drive to with a huge glass bottle and you wait in line and you fill it up. It's just from the earth. That's probably the most natural, but our earth ain't so nice no more. <laughs> it's polluted and dirty. I don't know that spring water isn't collecting a bunch of crap and heavy metals and pesticides from runoff. I don't know, I ain't tempted to try it. It is free, but depending on where you live, is the spring pure enough and how far do you have to go to get it? 
and how much gas is that going to cost in your car? Is it worth the trip? It can be fun to go out in nature. If it's only like a 20 minute drive or something, you can handle it, but is it like, are you driving three hours to get water every week? That's weird. A lot of gas and pollution. You just killed my home planet. Thanks. I'm not originally from here. Most of you know that, but I live here. So that brings us to the Berkey and I can't believe it took me this long to find it. Maybe do some marketing. Burke. Frickin' market, you're on page 10 of Google. On best water, what the hell? It's the easiest. It's just a little countertop unit. It's so nice looking too. It's like, nobody would mind having that. It's like, oh, what's that? Oh, look at you, pure water. It's all stainless steel. It does come with a plastic spigot, but I replaced that. It's cheap, it's like 20 bucks. It was like $45 Canadian. You're lucky in America. God bless the land of the USA. So let me live there. So I now have a fully stainless steel spigot with silicon washers. So that there's nothing toxic there. It's just pure stainless steel leaching nickel into my brain where I prefer it to be. So how this works, it's called a gravity filter and there's basically two containers. There's the top container with the black filters and you just pour the water in and then it gets sucked into the filter with like super tiny micron sized pores and it just sucks out all the bad stuff, but it leaves the good minerals. So as the water drips down into the bottom container, you have a choice of buying additional fluoride filters, which of course I did. So it's a little extra cost, but it removes the fluoride, like 99% of fluoride. You're, you're gonna get a little bit. Just don't worry, don't freak out about it. You're gonna get a little freak. But that system combined with the two black filters on top and then the two fluoride slash arsenic filters, that gets rid of everything you'd ever want gone. The pesticides, hormones, pharmaceutical medication, weird shit, hippie shit in your water, viruses, parasites, worms, freaking microscopic worms. I've had them in my brain. They're still in there. They control most of this show. We let them run its course. But in my opinion, this is the easiest to use system. You just got your container on the countertop, you fill it up. It takes like half an hour to 45 minutes to fully drip down, so it's very quick. And you can tell as you're getting water, the stream will become a little less strong. And it's like, oh, I know it's getting empty now. And then you refill it and you're good to go. I myself got the Travel Berkey. It's the smallest one, smallest and cheapest. And I just, I don't drink a ton of water, so it's perfect for me or like a two family size, you and your girlfriend or boyfriend. If you have a family, little kids running around exercising, sweating like dogs, dogs don't sweat. Oh, I should have known that's basic physiology. <laughs> How am I that dumb? So just look on their site to see what size you want, but I like the travel because it's the smallest unit and you could, theoretically travel with it, which is kind of exciting. This thing will filter like pond scum and make it drinkable water. Like it's proven, like they're top of the notch here. You could technically, wherever you go, have clean water. And I've worried about that. Every time I go somewhere, I usually compromise and just get some bottled water. But if you're really on point, you bring that thing with you. The only thing, like it will compact down. The, the top unit fits into the bottom one, but you would have to unscrew the filters and that would piss me off. It would probably take you less than a minute, but ain't nobody got time for that. Unscrewing that. Come on now, make them snap off or something, quick release. But if you're going on a little vacation, why not bring that? If you're going camping, oh man, that's the ideal thing. You just set that thing up, pour your water in there, pour it from a lake. I don't think you can use ocean water. Don't try it on my behalf. But I think this is the best system. It's easiest to use. The filters last like 10 years or something. Don't quote me on that. I forget, it was a long ass time though, maybe five years. So eventually, I think it is 10 years. The fluoride ones I think don't last as long, maybe two years, depending on how much water you drink, but I don't drink a lot. I do cook with my water. So it should last me a good three or four years on those fluoride filters. So eventually you'll have to replace them, but they're not that much. It's a little pricey to get started. I think mine was like 400, 385 Canadian. That's like $7 American, so relax. And then that's the one-time cost for both filters, black and fluoride. 
And then eventually in like five years, I might have to buy another $70 fluoride pack. That's it. And the Berkey ones will last a good 10 years, probably 15 for me. I'm trying to think of if there's any cons, cause I hate when people review something and they only tell you the positive side of life. There's always a con to something. So the only thing I can think of is slightly annoying when you fill it, there is a slight bit of water left in there at all times. Like it doesn't fully drain. I don't know that it's gonna matter, but it seems like I have to fill it up and it's always gonna be that bit of old water in there. It'll drain to a certain point, so that could get annoying. And same with the water. There's always gonna be that little bit because the spigot starts a little bit higher. So technically, there's slightly old water accumulating in there. Will it matter? I think eventually, you would want to just dump this. You would take that out, dump it, and then fill it up fresh. I don't think it matters. The other con, if you can see, if you get the fluoride filters, which are the white ones at the bottom, that is sitting in your water. Like it's always, they are made of plastic. I think it's BPA free, but it's still plastic and my water is constantly sitting in that. I wish there was another design. If you don't get the fluoride filters, you don't have that problem, but then you can't remove fluoride. I think I'd rather have fluoride gone than a tiny bit of like BPA free plastic. I don't know. So that's the only con I can think of. Other than that, we're good to go. So let me know down below what you think the best water is. Do you agree with how I laid it out there? The pros and cons of each. I think the Berkey's the best. It's the easiest. I'm happy with it. Post your thoughts down below if you disagree so I can delete you, ban you forever. It's fun to do. I enjoy it. The wrath of God strike down upon thee. It's fun times. <laughs> All right, we're done. Thank you for watching the video today. Thumbs up if you liked it. Unbelievable. Thumbs down if you drink only cactus acid that you squeeze yourself. I remember watching some story. It'll never leave my mind. So just stop watching this video if you don't want to be poisoned forever. But a guy was lost in the desert somewhere. And like he was just with friends. He wasn't even like deep into the desert. He just went off to go to the washroom or something, ended up on a wrong trail. And he's like just walking lost in the desert and the sun's beating down on him. He's dehydrated. And he's like, I'm gonna die. What the hell happened? I was just camping with my friends. And so he's like looking, there's no water anywhere. So he breaks into this cactus and he's like, oh God, oh. <laughs> he drinks it. But it was this one of this poison acid cacti that just like melted his mouth. And he was like, oh my God. <laughs> Imagine that being so thirsty and then the thing you drink is like hydrochloric acid and it melts your mouth. He had to like poke holes because it closed off. I'm so sorry. I ruined your life. Still, it was worth watching. He was fine. He didn't have any weird lip scars or anything. It, just, it, it all worked out in the end. But wow, be careful out there. Get a Berkey system. I'm going to leave, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.